Hello guys, it's Richard from Silent Peak here, and today we're taking a quick tour of ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate 2022. Now we'll start here with the Manage tab. Here on the left, we can control which images we browse. These are all collections that I've created. So for example, this is my landscape collection. Alternatively, we can go down to People and select photos by those who are pairing them. So for example, these are photos appearing with me. You can also do it traditionally, so we can browse through various different folders. One of the nice things about ACDC Ultimate is it doesn't import your photos, it just leaves them exactly where they already are. And we can browse by calendar, so if there's a particular date that you're interested in, we can view. If none of these fit your criteria, you can also set up various different searches. So for example, if you wanted to view all photos taken in Greece featuring Dave on a particular year, you can create a search that'll do exactly that for you. Now, once you've selected a photo that you would like to stick with, so I'm just gonna go with this one. We can here, we can review the information from the photo, things like what focal length and aperture the photo was taken. We can assign it various different categories, keywords, or put it in one or more collections. And then just simple file information, when we took it, what kind of file it is. Double clicking on the file, loads it up into the view tab. And the view tab enables me a quick route to sort of explore the folder file, sorry, the picture. I can immediately determine with the histogram whether the image is exposed. And the magnifying glass shows me a straight 100% zoomed in view of the image, which I really like. It saves me having to zoom into the photo and pan around the image to check sharpness. Moving from one photo to the next is very quick indeed. Um, and once we've found the photo that we wish to edit, so I'm going to go with this one here, we just click on the Develop tab. Now the Develop tab is the equivalent to Adobe Lightroom. And here we can do all the usual stuff like adjust an exposure, adjust tone curves, and all of that other stuff. Again, one of the things I like about ACDC is that the effect of your adjustment is instantaneous. We can see exactly what we're doing, when we're doing. You can save the sum of all your adjustments as a preset to use another day. But you can also do what I call uh, micro presets. So in the case, if I really like this turn curve and I, I use this tone curve a lot, I can save this individual tone curve and just the tone curve if I want to. My presets are up here. So if I want to go to color beige presets, this is just one that shipped with the product, I can. Now, if I've done something I really wish I hadn't, I can go into the history tab and you can see here, I've got the different adjustments listed, what I've done. I can undo all, or I could walk my way back through each adjustment to an earlier iteration of the image. I'm going to undo all. And there we go. The Edit tab is a bit similar to the develop tab, except you apply your adjustments not to the image directly, but to layers. So for example, here we have our base layer, if you like, the original photo. And then what I can do is I can stack layers on top of it. So for example, I can add, um, oh, let's see, let's do tone curves, uh, levels, sorry. And then I can add the levels adjustment on top. Now the benefit of doing this in layers rather than directly to the image is that the original image below always stays exactly the same. So if I sort of enable, disable this layer, the original image is ever present. The other thing I can do is sort of create unique effects by um, changing the way, sorry, excuse me, changing the way that this particular layer sort of interacts with the layers beneath it. 
and I can also change the opacity as well. So if I want to lower or strengthen the effect or enable another adjustment to shine through, I can go from 0% opacity, in other words, it's not there, to 100% at its strongest. In addition to the all kinds of adjustment layers, we've got things like text. So I can um, write, do a little bit of basic graphics design if I like. And just like with the other layers, I can change the way that this layer interacts. So I can make it a little bit transparent. I can change the type of blending effect and pretty much just do whatever it is that I want to do. And that is, that's the basic features of uh, Ultimate 2022. Um, I hope you found that interesting. If you'd like to learn more about this product, drop by Silent Peak, check out the review, link in the description below, and I really hope that you have a good day. Bye-bye.